Well, the intro at least made it. <laughs> okay. Hey everyone, welcome to another episode of MMA and Coffee. On this episode, it's predictions UFC 221 Romero versus Rockles. Alright, so the first fight we're going to talk about is the co main event Mark Hunt versus Curtis Blades. Curtis Blades! <laughs> That's what he should change his name to, I don't care. Blade way cool. uh, Okay. Which Mark Hunt, it? this is this is a fight to see if Mark Hunt still got it. Curtis has been doing pretty well for himself, knocking people out, you know. He did lose to Naganu a couple years ago, but whatever. Everyone has except Stipe. Um Man, if Mark Hunt comes out and puts on vintage Mark Hunt, he should win the fight. It, it's hard it's hard to gauge at this point because he's come out and he's been finished, but then he's won fights that I didn't expect him to win. He's still tough. This isn't an easy out. This is not an easy fight. This is not an easy fight. Like at this point, Hunt's not as good as he was. He's not as tough as he was, but he's still not a pushover. Mark Hunt always has a puncher's chance. He yeah. hits anyone. He can knock any man out. We know this, but I'm gonna go with Curtis. I think he wins decision. I think he chooses to wrestle with him. I think he wrestles him against. That's kind of what I think he's gonna do. That's what I've fight. seen Curtis do it to several opponents. Yeah. Uh, it's not the most exciting style, but I think he clinches with him against the cage and and does that if he can't take it down or he takes him down and, you know, ground and pound, I think, decision. I'm curious to see how good of a takedown Curtis really has. If Curtis shoots and can't get Mark Hunt down, I think Mark Hunt's going to knock him out. If he can't get him down and he clinches with him, I think Hunt can knock him out potentially in that clinch. I think it's dangerous. If he can't get Mark down, he's got a serious problem because it's going to be hard to put him away. I don't think he puts him away. Yeah, he put but, I, but I do think he he wins a decision. And, uh, I mean, Mark Hunt's dangerous the whole fight. So, I'm going with my boy Mark on this. Dude, on I, I, Mark. I, love, I, <laughs> I love Mark oh, Hunt, yeah. but hearts, hearts with Mark Hunt, but mine's telling me Curtis. All right, main event for the interim title. There's so many interim titles in yeah, this division. Yeah, it doesn't mean, oh, it this barely, division's it a mess. barely meant anything to begin with, and now it doesn't mean anything you know, at all. We can blame the man in this fight for the entire mess. For losing the Luke, Luke, Luke Crockle, <laughs> it's his fault. He's even admitted it. Yeah. Everyone else has blamed him. Versus yeah. Romero, what do you think? I think I started to drool like Joe Kennedy. Um, <laughs> uh, I like I like Romero. I, I really thought Romero was gonna gonna beat him when you know I thought he was gonna win the title over Whitaker. Rockhold over Rockhold whenever you know Bisbing ended up fighting him and winning the title. I figured Romero would be the one that ended up taking the title from Rockhold, not the way everything went down. That's what I expected way back two years ago, and I think he's gonna beat him now. I think he's finally going to get this fight he's going to beat him. I think he's just a better athlete. So He's going to out-wrestle him, out-work him, and just beat the hell out of him. So the monster. advantage Barcold has in this fight is his jiu-jitsu, his top game, and I think the only way he gets that is in the fourth, fifth round. So to me, Barcold, his best chance is when Romero gets tired. Now, later rounds. Yeah. The later rounds are going to tell the tale of the fight. Yeah. I agree. Yes. Yeah. So, whereas Romero, this dude is a, a freak athlete. Uh, my prediction is he finishes Rockhold. He I think will, he finishes him. I think. Uh, even if he doesn't, if he doesn't get. I think he's going to win the first three rounds. Rockhold's going to have to finish Romero to win this fight. That's how I see it going down. Because Romero's probably not going to get tired until the fourth round. He's usually good for at least 15 minutes. He's so explosive, his style. Yeah. You know, people talk about his cardio, but he, he still finds a way somehow. Some, yeah. some. He's won. He's yeah, won a bunch yeah. Of so, I think you know if it depend if Rocco goes for some weird takedown, he get eat a knee. I, but most likely, I think Rocco has holes in his stand up. He has a great body kick. Yeah. But other than that. He's gonna be afraid to throw that. He d he does. He's gonna be afraid to take down. He doesn't have 
the the boxing with the hands. No. And I think if he if he does what he did against Bisbing, I mean even when he fought uh, Branch, he got clipped in that mm -hmm. fight. And it's when he jabs, he lowers his hand. He doesn't bring it back up. He kind of lets it hang. And he kind of keeps his chin out. Uh, if he isn't on his game, he's going to get knocked out. He's got to fight the perfect fight to win this fight. He can do it. He can. But he, can. he can't make a single mistake. Well, the, the difference between this and the Bisping fight was I think he does respect Romero's power and yeah. ability to finish. In the Bisping fight, it was just a complete lack of respect. Yep. And that's costing. That's why I got knocked out. I think if he fights smart, look, he has the ability, you know, his top game, like I said, if Romero's tired and Rocco gets on top of him, he might finish he him. Could. He could he submit could. him or TKO him if he's tired. Uh, but first three rounds, I mean, good luck the, against the, that monster. The championship rounds, I think, if it goes to him, are going to be the most interesting rounds of the fight. That's where I'm looking at, you know, the cliche is who wants it more, but it's kind of true with this fight if it goes if it goes that deep. I think I think Romero ends it early. Yeah. I think he ends it early on the feet, it, which is funny because he's he's a wrestler, but man, his his ability to explode just out of nowhere it's a huge threat, and I think Rockhold's defense isn't going to hold up. He has holes. I'm going game. with a uh, I'm going to go with the decision and a late surge from Rockhold that's too little too late. And it's going to be Romero by decision. Three rounds to two. That's what I'm thinking. Yeah. You know, so. yep. I, th I think the first round for sure Romero, Rockhold might slowly figure him out. And if Romero can't finish him, he's going to get tired because of his style is to explode. Um, but I, I don't see Rockhold's defense holding up. That's my prediction. All right. All right, so that's what we think about the fight. What do you think? Let us know in the comments below. See y'all next time.